Kita gitu. friends good morning good afternoon and good evening welcome to the poetry reading with fatal friends uh, let us begin with i hope you are doing well <laughs> um uh, lovely to see you all hi machine uh i would like to share a few lines uh, i like and it is written by i mean joy harjo Thank you. <laughs> well, Hi, everybody. Poetry, it's when I began to listen to the stones, and I began to listen to what the clouds had to say, and I began to listen to others. And I think most importantly for all of us, then you begin to learn to listen to the soul, the soul of your soul, yourself in here which is also the soul of everyone else. With those lines of joy, how you? Let us begin our... Please how was your problem? <laughs> please uh, welcome our wonderful couple who relentlessly, and never, they never get tired of writing, I mean. So please welcome this wonderful, uh, wonderful couple Ganga Lashmi Patnaik and Dr. Uh, Mr. Syama Prasad Patnaik. A pleasant evening to one and all poet Pauls present here. I am Dr. Ganga Lashmi Patnaik, Odisha, India. Delighted to wish you a happy International Day of Charity. Fell on 5th September. September 2002-4, the real meaning of charity is generosity and helpfulness towards the needy or suffering. It's a humanitarian act and involves giving money, goods, time, and effort to those who need it. It's done without expecting something in return. Giving money or food to poor people is an example of charity. Now I will recite a poem on charity. For your information, September 5th commemorates the death anniversary of Mother Teresa, a symbol of selfless love and service to humanity, a woman who dedicated her life to the downtrodden, embodying essence of charity. The title of the poem is True Charity, True Charity. Every good act is charity. Do it in clear heart. He who has no charity deserves no mercy of it. Every good act is charity. Do it in clear heart. He who has no charity deserves no mercy of it. Give what you can be it money, food, or time, and give sincerely with your heart's rhythm and rhyme. Give what you can, be it money, food, or time, and give sincerely with your heart's rhythm and rhyme. Embrace humanity, compassion, pity, and kindness. Love and compassion are necessities, not luxuries. Embrace humanity, compassion, pity, and kindness. Love and compassion are necessities, not luxuries. Charity, highest form of love. 
signify selfless love for others by loving selflessly without expectation of receiving we can love as god loves us charity highest form of love signify selfless love for others by loving selflessly without expectation of receiving we can love as god loves us love given will be love returned in vast amounts it's not what you give it's how you give that counts love given will be love returned in vast amounts it's not what you give it's how you give that counts charity is not just money it is time love and words we rise by lifting others charity is not just money it is time love and words we rise by lifting others help others empower those around us selflessly put needs of others before our own needs help others empower those around us selflessly put needs of others before our own needs the poem is completed thanks dear friends and founder kumar prasanna prasanna another poem do i recite go ahead ma'am my second poem is my second poem is poetry for literacy international literacy day 8 september 2024 a strap of lightning in poetry guides literacy girds illiteracy against the storm rising in the distance a strap of lightning in poetry guides literacy girds illiteracy against the storm rising in the distance children seem to begin a war against an unknowable self within its uproar is heard like thunder enhances emotion imagination children seem to begin a war against an unknowable self within its uproar is heard like thunder enhances emotion imagination children initiate new words rhyme that help build literacy skills children initiate new words rhyme that help build literacy skills poetry like nursery rhymes encourage children to memorize rhymes poetry like nursery rhymes encourage children to memorize rhymes and slowly children learn that phonetics are their wealth and slowly children learn that phonetics are their wealth they themselves follow the ghost of words on this earth they themselves follow the ghost of words on this earth poetic words phrases always source of pleasure to emotion poetic words phrases always source of pleasure to emotion literacy permits them everything to pass like passion literacy permits them everything to pass like passion now this is the end of my second poem thanks to all of you thanks it's not, what, it's not what you do how you give and how much you share for others that's made by rising humanity you will rise by lifting others thank you ma'am that's beautifully said and uh, thank you for sharing your pieces Please welcome Ms. Mr. Shyama Prasad Patnaik. Good evening, everyone. Happy International Literacy Day to all. Uh, thanks, Prasanna ji, for inviting me to recite my poems. First of all, uh, I am going to recite my English poem. Uh, for international literacy day the title of my poem is uh, transmitting culture one minute just a minute am i audible am i audible sir hello yes sir yes sir transmitting culture beyond borders the title is transmitting culture beyond borders literacy is society's mainstay 
to communicate languages and transmit cultures. International Literacy Day and UNESCO initiative motto being multilingual education and peace. Literacy helps mankind to communicate feelings of knowledge beyond borders. Spreading of literacy create a sense of belongingness and camaraderie. Literacy creates a bond enabling to discuss differences of opinion. Enlist wisdom and literacy can easily transmit cultures between nations. Mass education can transform society and enrich its environment around us. Poets as allied class bear honors to spread education through motivation. Women empowerment through education catalyst factor to spread mass literacy. We must eradicate illiteracy through proper awareness, illuminate minds through quality education. Literacy must enlighten heart, just educating brain is not sufficient. Digital literacy plays significant role in society in modern perspectives. Artificial intelligence dispense manpower, empower scientific resources through information technologies. And that is the end of my poem on literacy. As uh, the motto of this year's uh, International Literacy Day is uh, multilingual education. I am reciting my next poem in my mother tongue, Odia. Recently, Vinayak uh, Chaturthi has gone and now we are celebrating the Ganesh Chaturthi, Ganesh uh, Mahotsav throughout India and throughout world also. So I am reciting my Uriya poem. Mo Kavitar Sesso Kauchi Bigno Binasako Prabhu Ganesh. He Dayame Prabhu Ganesh, Sakala Brahmanda, Tumoko Abahan Karanti, Nutana Karjaram Kutburu. Samasto Isuri Sakti Madhare, Prathamiko, Ebam Sarbot Stano Tumoro. Badha Vigna, Chatikarako, Ebon Binaskari Samosta Mondomati, Onisto Binasakari. Gobiro Gyanaro Udaharano, Simahina Buddhi, Ebon Gyanaro, Osimito Gontakaro. Surukure Poridi, Porikramanoro Samapti, Kitimurta Madhere, Okilo Brahmandaro. Golaso Sorgora Gonadipoti, Gonadjaka Odinaeko, He Bokrotunda Boliara Budhari. Tumor of Chi Boroboro Kano, Sohozare, Upolo Do, Pratana Sunibaku, Dukita Nomanankoro Ekodonto Sahajore, Aponopura Brahmandaku, Tai Paribe, Tumor of Bismornia Sokti, Duro Kodibaku, Isuri Onugrahochi Bortoman, Ehatumor Procusto Someote, Sorgoru, Ulayaso Doyakoro, Amo Pore. Butomanuku dondo dio, Puchi dio, Ogantar on the car. Amor Antorico Pratana Sicarcoro, Ravu, Giano dio, Ebom Amor Poritranacoro. So this was my, my recitation in Uria, a tribute to Lord Jagannath, Lord Ganes. Thank you for watching and listening. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, that was lovely. <laughs> that was lovely. Uh, that, please give a round of applause, uh, my dear Francis. Said widely, I watched about <laughs> extensively about literacy. Uh, how about we do away with uh, you know reading this religious kind of poetry? Uh, I mean, it's like cliche. <laughs> uh, we'll talk about higher philosophy or something like that. You know, it's really a lot like. Uh, just an idea. Like, you are you are free to share, but then I feel we could have a, some higher philosophical or metaphysical kind of things. Uh, so just drop of water. Particular God or particular. Okay, thank you. That's my opinion. You. Uh, you, could, you are free to, but then I feel that. <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, but anyway, that is um, uh, thank you for the question, uh, uh, Chaturthi and. Uh, Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> my dear. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, please welcome.
Uh, yes, uh, Bijo Prince. Uh, Aka Isaac Cohen. Isaac. Isaac, please unmute your mic. Isaac, please unmute your mic. Okay, let's uh, ask Richard to share his pieces. Richard, yeah. Thank you, sir. An honor to be with you all. I have two poems about love, but the first one I talk about, the first one I want to tell you about is uh, is one where I have to ask you an important question. On the one hand, we want to respect different people, different culture, different religion. But on the other hand, when we see a wrong being done, I think we're called upon somehow to make a difference. OK, and and I don't think it takes away from respect, but I think it asks a, a very important question. So my first poem is called Afghan Women. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> then, then tell you what, let me read the, uh, yeah, here we go. Okay, Simply Silent Afghan Women. Now, I, I wrote this from the point of view of a small, angry little boy, okay? Because I think that when you don't respect women, you're being small and angry. So Simply Silent Afghan Women. I've got a sister. She's a big pain. She locked me out one time out in the rain. She always tattles to mom and dad. I don't get away with nothing. I'm so GD mad. She's a big reader. Her nose is always in books. A heck of an arguer, a big old silly know-it-all. Oh boy, does she give me looks. She gets to stay up later than me. You can see how she always teases, freezes, and belittles me. I was watching the news for history class. I don't understand why I have to study history to pass. History's boring. There's nothing in it for me. But oh my gosh, you'd never guess what the heck that I'd see. I learned about some dudes in Afghanistan. They thought up something that I think is grand. Women, they surely put them in their place, out of sight, out of mind. They're darn near replaced. Sure, sure, they're needed to cook and to watch the darn kids. But after they're silent, that's what the law did. Com cover them completely from their nose to their toes when they're out in public. Only must be silent. Enough them, nothing shows. They must be silent when out in the town. Silent, ghost-like. You'd hardly know it when they're around. No more arguing with any of us boys. They've been reduced to silent, invisible, compliant toys. Behind their black veil in a virtual chair, no matter where they go, they can never question a male. I'd like to send my sister. How can I apply to send her to Afghanistan? No more asking when or why. I'd shut her up once and for all, and after that, we'll just see how the chips fall. She will not like it, not one little bit. She has to clam up, and no one will have to deal with her. We'll have no more of her lip. Behind that black veil stuff, she'll never talk. Boy, that would fix her. She couldn't even squawk. The last word would always be simply mine. So as far as I'm concerned, no more uppity sister for me would be just fine. And if you consider this Taliban so much lesser a man, suffice to say up in his head, he finds himself uneven, overmatched by the slightest and smallest woman when he hears her whisper, catch. What a sad little creature, this Taliban man, so much lesser than any other man who must enchain and silence every woman rather than on an equal footing deal with them or ever hear their voice. He's so shooken. So after a sad one like that, or a call to responsibility, I want to read you a love poem. This is much, much nicer. This is called, If You Were in Oslo. If you were in Oslo, I would never wait. I wouldn't go slow. But you know, if you were in Vienna, I would rush to see you, and doubly sure in Singapore. If you were in Madrid, let me tell you, kid, if you were in Rome, I'd make you feel at home. If you were in Bern, that's all I'd have to learn. But if you were in Shanghai, I wouldn't ask you when or why. If you were in Johannesburg, I'd tell you all the things I heard. If you were in Copenhagen, I'd be there before you could get wet from the raining. 
Were you in Amsterdam? I wouldn't be in Elso Ren. If you were in Rio, I'd be so very glad to see you. If you were in Vladivostok, I'd let you pull my stockings off. If you were in Minsk, you'd be real convinced. But if you were in Marseille, I'd say all there is to say. If you rested in Beirut, I'd demand to ply my suit. And if in Dubai, you'd never ever need to ask me why. If in Esteban, in Istanbul, he rested weary. Don't you know I'd join you, dearie. If you were in Shannon, I'd be there like a cannon. But no matter where you are, you're never really far from me because it's in the heart where it starts. Thank you. A lighter, hilarious, yet very thoughtful. And the first one is very serious. I like your concern about your sister, Rachel. That's the way we speak and that's the seriousness as we express. Thank you. That's uh, Richard with his two points. Thank Please you. give a round of applause, my dear friends. Please welcome uh, Ray Whittaker. Good morning. And like Richard said, it's a real privilege to be here amongst all you international poets. Um, glad to be here. I have two pieces for you today. Uh, they're fresh. Y'all are the first to hear them. Um, the first piece is entitled, This Moment of Life is Unrepeatable. The decoding of our personal universe, where these thoughts go, our experiences of personal astrophysics, tempered by our own version of climate change, tailored to those events that happened just a bit ago, or will happen tomorrow. There could not be ever another exactness, another vision the same, a Where's Waldo? At best, it would be one of those cartoons where some small details are missing from one to the other, drawn impeccably, while the balance would be the same. I could never remember your face so beautiful in that moment now passed into time. Those memories of memories embedded in my memory, in an experience of you, those many kind moments that are unique. Thank you. And my second piece, uh, just a, a, mo a brief explanation at the very beginning here, is that I have been in the mountains of North Carolina in tents camping. And I wrote this uh, there uh, 10 days ago. This one's called, I Didn't Hear the Wolves. Last night, it's usual darkness surrounding me, staying awake as long as I could, seemingly like when I was 12 instead of 70, an eager anticipation of what may come, resting with eyes shut, definitely not asleep. The walls of my tent are the walls of Jericho. Would have stepped outside those if, if, if there had been the sounds of the wild. I have come here to mid-northern Colorado, the Blue River, crimmling, and arrive the flows north to hear a bucket list sounding. We all hear those noises when camped, mysterious, even terrifying at zero dark thirty, that thirteen-foot chipmunk just outside the tent wall, those couple of millimeters of tent between you and the ravages of the dark, snapping into where to climb to get away. Ten wolves were released about three miles away from where I am not sleeping, sequestered, listening for the songs that resound in the night with the intensity of a stereo turned up way too loud. Reintroduced from where they were trapped, these ten are moving. It appears well away from my camp, 
well removing themselves from the terrors of capture and confinement, the close presence of humans exploring where the best hunting is in wolf wonder. I didn't hear the darkness's wolf song. Any of my nights in the secluded wilds, my want in a wondering, the why of things all my life, where these are eagle eggs, eggs in a five-foot nest, way high in the stout, tall pine by the river. Those ideas hatching into flying, eventually off into the windy directions, far and wide, going to the reaches of thought, the wolves wonder what happened. Those undecipherable events happening too in we people, both the why and the how. Thank you. So always narrative and descriptive. I love your reading, sir. Thank you for making the night. I wish you had a wonderful, you know, what do you call, wilderness. I know. Thank you. Spent in. Thank you for having me on, Kumar. I, I so appreciate being here. Thank you. Please give a round of applause, my dear friends. That was right. Please welcome uh, Colonel Gopal Purdhani. Namaskar, Prasanaji. Thank you very much. And as I said before, I told you that जो करंट प्रॉब्लम्स होते हैं उनके ऊपर ही लिखता हूं और हर कोई उसके सॉल्यूशन भी बताता हूं छोटी शॉर्ट सी प्रोग्राम है महाभारत टाइटल महाभारत मैं तो आज भी महाभारत की जंग लड़ रहा हूं मैं तो आज भी महाभारत की जंग लड़ रहा हूं अपनी जिंदगी से लगातार झगड़ रहा किसी और से नहीं मां द्रौपदी का आज भी कोई रक्षक नहीं है कुछ दुष्ट दुर्योधन जैसा कोई भक्षक नहीं है इतनी बर्बरता कभी सुनने पढ़ने में ना आई जितनी बढ़ चुकी है अब बुराई श्री कृष्ण वो अर्जुन को जगाओ कृपया श्री कृष्ण और अर्जुन को जगाओ इस बुराई को जड़ से मिटाओ और क्या पैदा करो कि मेरे इस मुल्क को अमन का उपमन बना दो मेरे इस मुल्क को अमन का उपवन बना दो इसमें इज्जत के सुंदर फूल खिला दो इज्जत के सुंदर फूल खिला दो एक दूसरे की हम इज्जत करेंगे तो कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं होगी हमारा देश जो है काफी ऊंचा उठ जाएगा और अब मैं कुछ फोर लाइनर इनको उर्दू में उर्वाइया कहते हैं वो पेश करना चाहता हूँ कि मुझे पुरानी यादों की पूरी कहानी याद है मुझे अपनी पुरानी यादों की पूरी कहानी याद है उनकी निशानी आज भी हिफाजत से आबाद है बड़ी हिफाजत से रखी हुई मैं नहीं उनकी निशानी आज भी हिफाजत से आबाद है सच कहते हैं जितना पुराना प्यार उतना ही मीठा जिसने खेला खेल प्यार से उसी ने जीता जिसने खेला खेल प्यार से उसने जीता नफरत वाला कभी जीत नहीं पाता एक और है कि मेरे ख्यालों मेरे ख्वाबों की बुनियाद तुम हो मेरे ख्यालों मेरे ख्वाबों की बेयाद बुनियाद तुम हो मेरी उम्मीदों मेरे वादों की मियाद तुम हो जो तेरे बगैर मेरी जिंदगी खाली खाली सी है है तीसरी लाइन 
तेरे बगैर मेरी जिंदगी खाली खाली सी है क्योंकि जिंदगी की असली सादात तुम हो उर्दू में सादात कहते हैं खुशी को मेरी जिंदगी की असली सादात तुम हो खुशी एक और पेश कर रहा हूं आखिरी रुपाई कि ये भी एक हसीन मौजदा मौजदा का मतलब होता है प्रेजेंट आज का आज का जो आ, समय है और ये वो है कि जो चमत्कार हो रहा है आज का समय मेरी जिंदगी की आज का दिन तो चमत्कार है भगवान ने दिया कैसा हुआ कि ये भी एक हुसीन है मौजदा मौजदा मतलब चमत्कार कि जिंदगी में मुझे तू मिल गया वरना हम यू ही भटकते हुए जिंदगी से हो जाते जुदा वरना हम जिंदगी से हो जाते जुदा एक दो लाइनर टू लाइनर दो लाइनें हैं सिर्फ दो सत्रे हैं और आज की जो बड़ी प्रॉब्लम है कि मेरा धर्म ये तेरा धर्म ये और जो नफरत फैला रहे हैं लोग उसको दूर करने के लिए मैं ये कहना चाहता हूँ कि ये तेरा धर्म वो मेरा धर्म लेकिन सबका मालिक तो एक है आप कहते हो ये मेरा धर्म और मैं कहता हूँ ये मेरा धर्म सबका मालिक तो वेद है जिसकी जिसमें मानता वो ही धर्म श्रेष्ठ है सबसे बड़ा वो धर्म है जिसको आप मान मैं तो ये मान बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद प्रसन्न साहब और सभी दोस्तों को नमस्कार बिल्कुल सही सर सबको वही मानना चाहिए थैंक यू फॉर यू नो ग्रेसियसली पोरिंग योर वर्ल्ड आउट एंड वी आर जस्ट होनर टू हैव यू हैव द दैट वाज गोपाल पुरधानी प्लीज गिव अ राउंड ऑफ अप्लाउस फॉर यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू वेलकम सर प्लीज Please welcome uh, our renaissance poet, Ma'am Josephine Gomez. Please unmute your mic, Ma'am. There. Okay. Good evening, my poetry comrades. I begin my uh, reading with a, a poem that talks about an experience. with a um, counseling patient or client if you wish to say client i as uh, probably you don't know that i also do psychological analysis and counseling so just a minute um, all right because i'm only i'm using one phone for both the reading and uh, all right Okay um the title is where is that now eaten by the wave of this belief your vision too narrow clouded by doubt i see on your face a frown and a pout fearing the outcome assuming you know taking control of the way things should go how pitiful you look as your thoughts swim beyond allowable depths where you still feel my hand your fears and your worries are part of your system your dreams can't be reached as you cling on to them looking into my eyes you should be able to see all good intentions profound sincerity but because your dark thoughts invade bright reality truth is lost quickly melts into obscurity empty your mind and dark thoughts do not wallow so you can follow the steps to a bright golden morrow your control during therapy i'll momentarily borrow to free you from misery lead you out of your sorrow the end and my next poem talks about rigpa rigpa is a tibetan word it's actually uh very much used in tibetan buddhism it means pristine awareness which you derive 
through regular and correct meditation practice. This is written in the Villanelle form. The title is, To My Respected Precious Guru. You awaken in me, Rigpa Precious. Teacher, you are certainly erudite. Of thoughts, speech, and deeds, I am now conscious. I have learned to tone down on my ways, Capricious. From temptation, I have vowed to take flight. You awaken in me, Rigpa Precious. I have learned to avoid friends pernicious. I choose peace instead of showing I'm right. Of thoughts, speech, and deed, I am now conscious. Such are your teachings, Guru, so precious. Free from stain, full of life-changing might, you awaken in me, Rigpa precious. Tolerance leads to wisdom, it's obvious. Perfecting its practice, surely a fight of thoughts. Speech indeed, I am now conscious. The enlightenment path is arduous. I need you, teacher, like a lamp at night. You awaken in me, Rigpa precious. Of thoughts, speech and deed, I am now conscious. Excellent, ma'am. That was a poem writing in Valenera, and thank you for introducing your word, Rigpa. Beautiful. Rigpa. It's Rigpa. R-I-G-P-A. Rigpa. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank. Uh, thanks for making tonight. And please, please give a round of applause, my dear friends. Thank you, everybody. And thank you, Ray Whitaker, for your comments. Thank you. I hope uh, Bizo is ready. Bizo, are you ready? I. Yeah, please. Yes, uh, dear Kumar and uh, dear friends, I declare, picture, I roam the area, the silence screams. I remember the nice girl I visited yesterday. The odor of soot of the walls reminds in my nose. I think the love can renew life like phoenix and the body is resurrected. Eyes of a little child overcome all habits. And uh, second, I the coin, fidel for peace, fidel, fidel, take me to the dove from which you came, I will go to her and give her an olive leaf. We foretell peace to all children in the world. And uh, the, the third, I'll coin. The shining of peace. I show a child walk by the river. The fire sparks in front of him. The child begged to the sun. Please extinguish the fire. Uh, the fire, uh, uh, the fire. The sun said, take in your mouth water from the river and extinguish the fire. The peace shines in 
this guy. Thank you, Isaac Cohen, Israel, and uh, maybe the peace will come soon, soon, soon. Thank you, all oh, my thank friends. You so much. <laughs> and uh, yes, every, thank you. Every, uh, with your smile, every uh, you know, the press is <laughs> yes. <laughs> you will never let us. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you. Please. Please give a round of applause, right? That was Isaac. Thank you, thank you. Thank Isaac. you. <laughs> now you smile. Keep smiling always. Yeah. That was okay. Uh, welcome our love boy, Dr. Jahangir Alam Greetings from Bangladesh and thank you, Prashanna, for inviting me in this beautiful dias of poet and poetess across the world. Today I will uh, recite two poems from two of my English poetry books. Uh, the first one is Shadow of Love. The name of the poem, Only I See You. When you blossomed in my twiggy mind, no other beautiful flower but you were of your own kind. I was roaming around to collect honey from you, sometimes as a bumblebee with a buzzing voice through a leaf to trip you. I was livid from time to time to take sweet, sweet sand in a soundless place where the wind sings only. I was the sole agent. You are glittering as the only moon of a moonlit night, sometimes as a reddish morning sun and inverts the morning light. Through my heart's, heart's lens, only I saw you and your unique activity. Where I went, you were with me. I carried your memory. Sometimes I found you in the tune of a flying bumble bird who lost her sweet partner and often into buzzing sound of an intoxicated bumblebee as a solitary lover. When a glittering star sang and laughed, I heard only your beloved speech in the ending place of a sea where the sky offered a drastic peace. And second one from another English book to book, Dream of Love. The name of the poem, Music of Dawn. The flowers bloom and dance in the lap of cool art. At the time, music of dawn sings and gets part. Insects sign, birds sar, and salute the multicolored light. Birds sing with a musical tune and welcome the bonding bright. The sun appears shown with its charming dress. Intoxicated insects sing, they are often in a mess. What a heavenly glow invites the dawn. Earth becomes blissful to get her morning proud. A gentleman turns into a clown in the dazzling glow. Aurora invites the buzzing insects for dancing below. The wind changes into a balmy breeze to join the celebration as some fairies come down to celebrate the occasion. The earth changes into a bride. The colorful light dances in full rhythm as the charming dawn sings, turning into a glitzy groom. Thank you. And now your heavenly flow of words, sir. Beautiful. Uh, please give a round of applause, my dear Francis, uh, called Love Poet, Dr. Jahangir Alam Rustam from Bangladesh. Thank you, sir. Thanks for having uh, 
Thanks for making me. Please welcome Kamla Begum. Kamla Begum is a wonderful and a very, very established poet from Assam. She writes in Assamese and Bengali languages. Please, uh, go to your mind. Good evening, sir. Good evening, everyone. Today, I am going to recite an SMS poem and a Bengali poem. My own book, Hapun Pahirong, SMS poetry book. The name of the poem is Ajar Fula Dekhi. Please show once again. Please show your book once again. Yeah. The title of the poem is Ajar Fula Dekhi. Ho Sua Priyotam Ajar Fuli Se Akul Rangere. Hunaru Fulbud Iman Thunia Jainmur Gati Hori Se. Kahote Fula Krishna Churar, Humot Hirarong, Tumi Dekhi Sane, Priyotam, Suwa, Akahak Suwa Na Ebar, Kumua Tular Dore Kaak Sapi Se, Humtro Mek, Priyotam, Tumi Baru Noarane, Ani Dibo Mok, Bola Kar Dekhar, Ajur Thuni Anupur, Meg Mollar, Ragi Nituri, Hunar Fuller Dore, Ujor Halotia Hobokujumoi Para Judi, Andi Diahun, Ejar Hulabotor. To be so Janai, Kiman Akul Homoi. Thank you. Next poem is Bengali poem from my Bengali poetry book, Onurag. The name of the poem is Onurak. Ah, Sharo. Can you hear a binom to Onurak? Shugondi, pool for the child. She sheer for the child. Jory for the child. Oh, no, dear book. Sharo, Sharo, Onuhog. Shugro make way, Misha Jetichai. Akashirinil, Shimanai. Jochna wrong. Moon shedges him. Get the ship to rat, rich at the child, Shobuj Galichai. Ah, Sharo. Thank you, sir. Thanks to you, ma'am. How beautifully you recited. So beautiful. I love the way you read your lines in Assamese and Bengali. Please keep coming and, and keep sharing your uh, you know, poetry with us. So beautiful. I love. love. Video you recite it. Uh, please take a moment. Uh, let us take a moment and uh, wish our, uh, you know, ma'am Josephine. She is celebrating her birthday today. So <laughs> let us wish happy birthday. Happy happy birthday, Josephine, ma'am Josephine. <laughs> we, we happy birthday, you. Josephine, ma'am. Uh, many more returns to you. Sing for her. Years to come. Nobody is wishing, I mean, I mean, you are all free to... Hey, Happy birthday, Josephine. Happy birthday, Josephine. Many, many happy returns of the day, Josephine, ma'am. Happy birthday, it's not yeah. today. You got me wrong, Prasanna. It's on Sunday. It's For Sunday. us, it is today. <laughs> Today, it is on Sunday, the 15th. Oh, okay. Happy birthday. In advance. Happy birthday. It's still Sunday, Sunday in India. <laughs> you have time to write something. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I'm excited to read poems for me. How are you doing now, Josephine? I'm fine. I'm cancer free since I was 18. Oh, that's re really great. You are a warrior. Oh, yes, yes. I'm a cancer warrior. I'm a cancer conqueror. That's why I encourage people with cancer. I give okay. hope to them. I speak to cancer groups.
We'll talk about more. We'll yeah. talk more about myself on Sunday. I'll tell Happy you my history. Josephine. Happy birthday, Josephine. Sunday on Sunday. Thank you. I'll see you here on Sunday. You mean next uh, Sunday? Is it next? September 15. Oh, she says it's next Sunday. Okay. Oh, it's next September Sunday. Okay. <laughs> Not today. Oh, okay. next Sunday. Coming Sunday. Yes, on Sunday the 15th. Okay, okay. That's well, why I have the temerity to ask you for a poem. Josephine, you and, Josephine, you and I share the same birthday. Really? Yes. Who 15th is it? September. Uh, who, who is it? I can't see you. Wait, Mesabine. Mesabine. Who is it? You? Who is it? Mesabine. Mesabine. Let me see. I can't see you. Coming Sunday. Happy birthday, madam. You are a warrior. Congratulations. Oh, yes. I am, I am. Yeah. So who is celebrating on the 15th also? Me. Oh, I mean, yes. Okay, I'll write a poem for you. <laughs> Thank you. We share the same birthday. It's such a nice uh, surprise. Yes. We'll exchange poems on Sunday. Yes. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mahazine. We're we'll be looking forward, um, the, ma'am. The, um, thank you. Thank you. Uh, again, I, have, uh, I wish I can share food with all of you, but you're there. <laughs> thank you. Please welcome Mahazabin Hussein. Hello, everyone. Um, my first poem, it's called The Ignored Shifts. We didn't notice when water found its religion. We didn't notice when the foods on our table changed. We didn't notice when roads changed their names. We didn't notice when the seasons swept their places. We didn't notice when the silence of fear grew into a language. We didn't notice when shadows stretched and deepened. We didn't notice when time itself began to howl and when sorrow began to murmur old lullabies of bygone good times, we didn't notice that too. In the quiet, cruel shifts, we missed subtle changes happening around us. And now, in the space between what was once and what is now, we see echoes of what passed us by. And the patterns in the stillness reminding us that even the smallest changes in our daily lives bring forth a future doomed. Here we stand wondering what secrets lie hidden in these paradigm shifts. As the world around us continues to move, begging us to notice, to awaken, to correct our course and find redemption, in all the spaces we have overlooked. This was the first poem. The second poem, uh, it's called Beneath the Bruised Sky. I feel the pain you have given me like the mattress on my back when I sleep. A heavy and deep burden of shadows carrying the weight of promises we couldn't keep. Your words, are thorns in a wilted rose, where once the soil was warm, now only coldness grows. The clock ticks slower in the chambers of my heart, each second a reminder that we are worlds apart. Memories swirl like leaves in a storm, sliced between the gaps of the curtains that were once drawn. Now the silence of a room and its hollow, empty tune lies vacant beneath the black and blue, bruised sky of a forgotten moon. The rain taps slowly on the window pane, a whispered lullaby for my restless pain. But no comfort comes in the so soft embrace, just a lingering memory of your fading trace. I trace the lines of your absence in the hourglass of my dreams. Each grain slipping through my hand 
And though the night might cradle into slumber, I am haunted by the echoes of your absent face. The wind carries your name through the midnight air, a fleeting whisper, a lover's prayer. But the stars are blind to the tears I weep. They shine on indifferent as I lose sleep. The fire we kindled has long burnt out, leaving ashes of dreams and seeds of doubt. In the quiet aftermath, I stand alone, shifting through remnants of love overthrown. And as dawn breaks with his golden light, I find no solace in the coming of the day. For in every shadow, you potently reside a haunting presence forever by my side. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Wow, wow, wow. Lovely reading. Mind blowing. Mind blowing. My lovely sister, Ms. Abin. Beautiful way. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent. Blending with a poem. It's just, when this seeker and the poet becomes one, it's 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 a work of genius. Like she's there and she, she's totally in a state of enjoyment and bliss, and uh, she's become one with whatever she's trying to say. And, and that's uh, not an easy thing to do. So I thank commend you. So much. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. Both the compositions are beautiful. Very lovely. Thank you. Thank you so much. Can I say something? Your yes. anaphora, the leading to the first poem. You know, that repetitive phrase. Did you notice? You know, that is beautiful. And it's a very, very strong way of making a uh, poem begin. Okay, so really grateful to you. And the first time I've seen somebody using it so beautifully. Thank you, Mejapin. Thank you so much. Okay. And the utterance uh, as well. You know, that absolutely go along with the lines. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Prasanna. Creative genius, that is what I would have you say. <laughs> please welcome, uh, please give a round of applause for um, Please welcome Jennifer Garnetius. Hello, everybody. <clears throat> I, hope, <clears throat> I hope my voice doesn't um, punk out today. I have two poems both romantic poems, but both dealing with the theme of fair. The first one is called No Longer Afraid. I was afraid to give you my heart, ignoring its melting in your sexy smiling presence. No longer afraid to open up myself, giving you my heart willingly, unconditionally, forever wanting to love you, protect you, cherish you for all eternity. Now oh, I feel enlightenment, knowing I am free, mentally, give you myself physically. You are meant for me. Long ago, I saw your longing, hating your eyes. I ignored them, not wanting to let myself go. Afraid your love would take soul, fearing it would control my very being. Now I am no longer afraid. Now I have the courage. All of me. Uh, <clears throat> um, since my voice is acting up, I'd like to share the screen for the second poem. See if I get it. Okay. I'm having difficulty sharing it, so I'll try to read it. <clears throat> it's titled Shedding My Fair. This was written yesterday. I attended um, a Wake Up Night 
hosted by Finn Bell. And it's based on the prompt she gave of few words, past, fair, courage, truth, defiance, and healing. My past is not your past. My future is not yours to be shared. You loved me, yet me, abused me, defiled me. Let the truth be told. Struggled mentally to shed my fear. God gave me the strength I needed. Courage emerged from deep within, bringing my defiance along, healing my body, my heart, my soul. Now I am standing alone, yet standing strong. Thank you. That was powerful, Jennifer. Thanks, Meg, for making it. Mm. Please give a round of applause, my dear friend. That was Jennifer. Please welcome Lantern Carrier. Thank you, my brother. I was just putting some finishing touches. Sweet. <laughs> Drunk with love. <clears throat> a glow in my beloved sanctum on a firmament of light. My heart is an indigo stream of beauty. My soul is sweet furnace of delight. I now dwell in the land of lovers. All woes are left behind. How light this golden boat of mines. I sail on ethereal waters, afloat in waves of joy. Drunk and mute in the bliss of the self, all names escape my tongue. My heart soars like a phoenix to the abode of heavenly delight. How can I share, O oh lover, the state beyond 10 million thrills? Can one describe the redolence beyond 1,000 jasmines? On the wings of sweet ambrosia, I find myself immersed in the intoxication of your drunken ecstasy. Inebriated in a realm of perennial wine, I'm embraced by love, the peerless nectar of the Blessed One. I will ask poem one, now for poem two. Timing is everything. Pendulum swings. The moving finger writes and having writ moves on. Nor all your piety nor wit can lure it back to cancel half a line, nor all your tears wash out a word of it. Oma Kayam. She ticks unnoticed, assuredly and unerringly like Zen in the sacrament of the present moment. She waits for none, whether she rides on tornadoes or a breeze of fine silk, weaving an elegant brocade of births struggle, age, and deaths, a reawakening in the soul's region. Sometimes she is comforting, occasionally a despair of unfulfilled desires, yet like a Libran pendulum, unlike the clock that carries her, her name, she is designed by a nameless silence and never fails. She's assured me by faith of the morning sunlight, the magnificence I seek in marigolds of spring. She projects the allure and charisma in the femininity of a golden summer, the cascade and rose pink of autumnal reverence. Mostly her lustrous dawns bring renewal and hope, and I'm invigorated, sensing intuitively that hand gloves and warm clothing will help in a winter's hush. Even so, she can seemingly be too slow or too fast. Tick, talk, tick, talk. I try to catch my boss at selective moments, wait endlessly for Fridays, or make phone calls to important people, hoping my timing is great. Timing can be crucial for so many things. 
We may not want to call Simone Biles when, like snowflakes, she is dealing with her wintry moments. Neither do we dare to use that overdraft when our wages seem sparse. We seek vacations when warm sand and beaches call, or Panama is bustling with shopping, just as we make time to seek solitude when challenges spill images on our thoughts like nocturnal ghosts. Time waits for no one is the old cliche. And some find it disconcerting in their 30s if the marriage and children are still dreams, if the glint in the hair fades or grace begin, beginning to appear on their shoulders. Timing is everything, but can we dictate this? Like Libra, astrology has its own pendulums where both pleasure and pain swing with the vicissitudes of life. I was born again at love's hour, yet this happened when I was 30 years old, married with one child and financially soaring to the skies. Planners, planners, says the seer, love never plans. Grace may flow in our favor, but again, can sometimes seem reluctant to do so. I am but a slave on the wings of destiny, which dances on my forehead, and even the very hairs on my head cannot fall without the will of the light in paradise. Nothing happens without the consent of cosmic laws. She will pass within a week, says the doctor. Yet two years later, she's still alive. Lantern says, effort is necessary, but deeds are first sown within in seed form and will follow each thought to manifest the glories of our golden dreams without. Lantern Carrier, thank you. Wow, wow, wow. You know, how would I react? I'm your poem, as always, sir. You know, I was meditating in your words. Wow. Beyond. <laughs> so beautiful, sir. Yeah. Very thoughtful, kept forward to me. Very sublime. Please give a round of applause, my dear friends. And did hear poet is gift to us all. Turn your back, my Baiji. Thank you so much. <laughs> Moving on, uh, please welcome Kanchan Bhattacharya. I'm sure Kanchan Bhattacharya. <laughs> Would you like to go or maybe? Good evening. I'll just try to insert something. See, I'm uh, experimenting. Huh? Give me a moment. Huh? Okay. Fine. Sure, sure. Uh, no, it won't work. So I'm going to read out. Okay, rather uh, than waste time with you people. Okay, is that okay? Yes, so sure, now... sir. Okay. You can start uh, it down. Maybe you could just uh, click the present button. I mean, here it is already presented. I mean, you can see the thing, presentation. Can you see the PowerPoint uh, thing? Yeah, yeah. You can see it? Yeah. Okay, I'm starting it. No. Ah, here it comes. This is Beethoven's. It's a bagatelle, number 25 in A minor. And this a pair of high boons for today. Windows hung with withered red curtains. A woman and a man slipping away slowly, slithering timeless, exploring hands, reaching out and folding in layers upon layers, melting time in a masquerade hall. Anapis waltzing twisted steps, waiting so long, leaning on, leaning against the wall, trying luck, sipping wine, cigarettes and caressing lips, 
Stories begin as strangers find found names, and yet the last tango never happened. Flashlights swung on the cobbled lane. Darkness, intimate words kept their notes. Symbols of calibra- calligraphic strokes, making love at monsoon's end. Footsteps on the arch bridge over the canal and the iams of a distant saxophone, a row house, unmarked in welcome, a lobby and upstairs, a frugal whisper, a cat mews her welcome, a jealous scratch, and then I remember you, Eliza. You never appear, you never appear, this drunken dean. My dear poem, a long phone call ends. And then it is for Elise again. I find myself alone, wrapped with the need to be in a sedated state, intoxicated, in a real tango, in a real tango between maybe, may not, a twosome binary, madness and yet solace. I need a home, an imagined one, a small terraced penthouse with poems and a forever re- reality that I alone can create. Cocoons, Lee, shelters, magic days. I have glimpses. I hear things. I'm aware of this unhinged bipolar state. Planets in mutual orbit and eternity unexplained. A tug of souls and a soulmate. The naked me, my muse and places I can drift in or drift out in tidal flows, into whirlpools and unanswered voodoo rituals, soft kisses, and surrender to fragrant longings, slip into mergers, discover secrets, the kundalini, the heights of awareness. In resonance, a cosmic, a cosmos, the Bedouin me, the gypsy you, I try to battle the world I create. Domains inside my subconscious. I'm alive, braced in urgent twofold pincers of passion and reason, torn apart. Oh, this knowledge of what never was, what is, what could be, neverness. This in preludes, in perpetual moves. Learning to dance the ticking metronome, the long drive ahead into sleep, to the other one virtually on the other shore, wrapped again, waiting for you in a strange city, a bouquet in my hands, roses and thorn, the silence of satiation, the pulsation of whispers, and yes, finality. For Elise, in the hall of the sighs, and Dante beats, echoes, tiptoeing artillery, arterial sensuality. I hear you in lonely arpeggios of the piano, in the hall of black and white keys, octaves of ecstasy. Bite, eagle distrust, my promiscuous mind swoops in, lust, freckled huntress. Thank you very much. Hello. Brilliant, sir. Brilliant. Wow. Anybody would like to hear this uh, kind of comment? Ray. I was wondering if you had a actual friend named Elisa that you were writing to or whether you were inspired by the etude. Yeah, I do... Uh give names to my my people, people whom I fall in love once in a while. Mm. I love to fall in love. Yeah. And so that's how I write. Uh, I'm drunk on these things. Okay, sometimes for months together, I have not written a single poem. And suddenly, uh, I am in a flurry, trying to write more and more maybe two, maybe three poems a day, 
and it's happening right now. Maybe there is someone, someone whom, you know, that, that bagatelle, huh? that caused me to think they about somebody cool. called Elise. Eliza. Uh, you know, sometimes, sometimes we have this rush of, of, of words and phrases and ideas and contextual things that happens just out of two words, like Fur Elisa. You know, yeah, Fur Elisa. And, and the idea, the loving, the idea of being in love is something I hold dear as well. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ray. They were, they were just beautiful. Just beautiful okay. and they catapulted me to a different world altogether where there was just love. People moving around hand in hand and just uh, talking of love and whispering sweet nothings into each other's ears. That was really beautiful. Hats off to you. Thank Wonderful. you, Santosh Ji. <laughs> Santosh, uh, I have a question for you, Santosh. Are you from Jaipur? Yeah, 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 yeah. You have uh, Santosh Bakayev, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Santosh Bakayev. Yeah, we have worked together in 2016. Have we? Have we? Yes, yes, yes. 2016, you had organized a poetry meet in okay. Jaipur, okay. Udaipur. And then people were to come to Khajuraho, which they didn't turn up. Yeah, I didn't go. I felt sick. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And then I went to Delhi because the four of them, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. I Lopez, Miss Lopez. Remember okay. Miss Lopez, Honjo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Preet. They were Preet and Hilal Karahan from Turkey. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> I made sure they had a room in Delhi because they were without any reservations. Okay, <laughs> and well, guided, them, guided them into a, a hotel so that they could stay the next two days before they catch their flight. Okay. okay. Thank you, sir. That... I, I beg your pardon. We're running out of time. Thank you. I could share it with you. I mean, personally. In the, in Thank the you, connection. Santosh. Thank you. Everybody. Okay. Please, please give a round of applause to uh, Mr. Kanchan Bhattacharya. Please uh, welcome God bless. Santosh, Santosh Bhattacharya. Miss Santosh Bhattacharya, please. Okay, okay. Hello. I have just... Can you hear me? Prasanna? Yes, ma'am. Can you hear me? Okay, I'll just come back from Delhi I, and I couldn't resist the temptation of uh, coming here. So I am uh, forget my, don't just ignore my disheveled appearance. And here I am with my poem. And it is from my book, Under the Apple Boughs. It was written in the year 2016. And uh, uh, the fourth section, the fourth section of this book is, uh, was written in Africa, in Ghana, Accra. And so this is the poem I want to recite. The Fisherman's, the fisherman's Son. The hero worshipping son looks up into the eyes of his father, who dexterously hurls his fishing net in the waters. As I stand in the shores of the rippling Atlantic Ocean, so far away from home, Kipling comes unbidden to mind. Have you news of my boy Jack? Have you news of my boy Jack? Not with this wind blowing and this tide. Not with this wind blowing and this tide. But who shall return us our children? But who shall return us our children? War is a primitive affliction. Fire on the mountain, run, run, run. Fire on the mountain, run, run, run. Oh, our childhood games, what fun. What have we gone and done? Why this rampant stench of the gun? Hey, what is that spectre looming in the horizon? Distraught, I escape into that world inside me, where I still romp around with a pocket full of posies. What ecstasy, what bliss. When we fell down, when we fell down, but were revived with a mother's kiss, what bliss. But now we hang on to a precipice, about to fall into an abyss. Fallen humans killing and maiming, the grey skies with gunfire flaming to the world. What are we proclaiming? Our cannibalistic ferocity, our brazen bellicosity, the lashing waves of the Atlantic Ocean jerk me back to the real world. My body all a quiver. I look at the fisherman. I look at the fisherman showing his son how to hurl the fishing net. How to hurl the fishing net while I rue the uh, while I rue the absence of internet. Oh, perish the thought the Atlantic Ocean whispers. Oh, perish the thought the Atlantic Ocean whispers. Ah, oh, finally, 
there is connectivity, there is connectivity. I listen to the mind-growing composition of the rustling palm leaves. My heart no longer grieves. My heart no longer grieves. It no longer grieves as I hearken to the chorus of harmonious voices. Happy to have made my choices. Happy to have made my choices. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. That is very energetic, ma'am. Please give a round of applause, my dear friends. Very timely. Uh, uh, brilliant. Well, anybody would like to react? Maybe Pakajan, sir. <laughs> well, I'm aware of uh, Sansoji's uh, work. She's a senior educa educationist in Jaipur. Okay, and there are a lot of following. There is a lot of following in Jaipur about uh, in her, this thing, to her credit. And I have read a few of her work also. So uh, she is no longer a new person to me. Okay, so it is good that I'm seeing her here. In fact, I was wondering, who can Santosh magazine be? <laughs> That's my husband's surname, you know. Oh, uh, really? Santosh Bakaya. Bakaya was my maiden surname. But my maiden surname continues. My uh, husband's surname is magazine. He's Lalit magazine. Achha, achha, okay. Yeah, I've heard that name also, by the way. Yeah, you must have heard of Pradeep magazine. He's a senior journalist, post journalist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So thank that's, you, that's it. So thank you. that is thank so you. nice of you to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Let's move on. The class for you know, for Maria Alvera. Hello, everyone. Good evening. It's a great pleasure to be with you all. Uh, thank you, thank you, President Aji, for the invite. It, it is always a pleasure to be with you. Today I brought a poem. Um, it's about uh, Teacher's Day that we celebrated uh, a few days ago. The name of my poem is uh, Teacher's Day. And uh, I'll begin to recite. Teacher, he carries a magical taper to illuminate minds and to give to man knowledge. How far he goes depends on dedication to his studies. Teacher, profession of dignity and low income that shares instructions and a full follow-up to wise and lift up men within wisdom. With firm and strong hands, with a piece of chalk, he writes on blackboard, numbers and words to teach students and help they improve wisdom. He's good at words also, and in lectures, holy speech and teaching. He helps talent emerge if abilities in a person are innate for a specific profession. He's a developer of learning. He, the teacher, a student along his whole life. Studies he does not leave behind. He never hunts away from education. Education is the backbone for a good performance. Those teachers that stagnate, those who stop learning can deal with good education and help students do good at schooling. The world doesn't stop spinning, so does knowledge. It's a seed song that germinates, grows, gives fruit, and more seeds. Thank you very much. Thank you, Maria. Thank you. That was a good um, teacher. It was a lovely reading. Please give a round of applause, my dear friends, because Maria, please welcome my fellow. Anthony and Graham. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'd like to share a piece that was put together over 25 years ago. 
I think I may have shared it here once in the past, but I'm in a great mood and I'd like to share it again. Title is, Today I Think I'll Echo. Today I think I'll echo the beauty of the sun. Because like the sun, I plan to rise up and greet the morn with a dazzling brilliance that cannot be denied. A majesty so great that the world cannot hide. So today I think I'll echo the beauty of the sun. And then I think I'll echo the song of the birds because like the birds, I plan to sing a song so loud that the sound of my own voice is carried across nations and the plow of my words will like the thunder that began life's creation. Someday I think I'll echo the beauty of the sun, the song of the birds, and then I think I'll echo the color of the grass. Because like the grass, my color is red. So rich the weeds cannot even touch me. Poisonous lies and sensual indignations cannot destroy me because like the graph, my back likes to mash. You might step on me, cut me, cause me to fall, but just give me a minute and I'll come back and stand this just tall. So today I think I'll echo the beauty of the sun, the song of the birds, the color of the grass, and then I think I'll echo the coolness of the breeze. Because like the priest, I too am cool like that. I'm all around like that. You might not see me, but my presence is still strong like that, still proud like that. So today I think I have the beauty of the sun, the song of the birds, the color of the grass, the coolness of the grief and then Nightfall shrouds the earth with peaceful darkness. I think I'll echo the glimmer of the moon. Because like the moon, it can be a as a starless night, but I still know my luminous spirit will shine just as bright. So today I think I'll echo the beauty of the sun, the song of the birds, the color of the grass, the coolness of the breeze, and the glimmer of the moon. And then I think I'll find something to eat, because echoing the beauty of life always makes me home. Thank you. Wow, lovely and exuberant. Wow, that was my good. Like, my black over. life matters, good people. My black life matters. And you might step on me. You might cut me. You might make me feel as if I'm going to fall. But it's all right. I'll get back up and stand just as tall. Thank you. Wow. That was joyful. That was very <laughs> joyful. I loved it. Really, really. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Awesome narration. To us, Thank you. To all of us, all of our lives, we all matter. Poetry matters. It brings us together unlike anything else. So that's why I love forums like this. So thank you, Prost. Thank you so much for creating it. All right. Please, please give a round of applause, my dear friends. Uh, let's go to our very own, uh, to the hotel, please. Welcome, Sneha Goel. Thank you, Prasanna. And uh, today I'm going to recite a Hindi poem. Recently I started writing in Hindi. Uh, so it's... Uh, about childhood, the things that we used to do when we were small, and how it is affecting our today. And the poem is India ke fav favorite dada ji, MDH ke dibbe par hai, aur favorite bacha, Amul Dood ke packet pe. Aaj bhi India ke number one heroine, Hema Malini hai, aur hero, Amitabh Bachchan. Kaun kehta hai purane log bula diye jate hai? वे तो तानों और मुहावरों में अपनी छाप छोड़ जाते हैं। आज भी उदास हो तो किशोर कुमार याद आते हैं और मन प्यार से ओतप्रोत हो तो आशा दीदी। वो 25 पैसे वाली कोकोनट टाफी कहाँ भूल पाते हैं? घर के पास वाले पार्क के चक्कर खूब याद आते हैं। कौन कहता है यादों यादें यादों में रह जाती है हमें हर पार्क में बचपन वाले पार्क की महक गुदगुदाती है मोहल्ले के हर बच्चे का शाम को बाहर आना 
जब तक पेट न कहे लुका छिपी का खेल खेल वो संडे वाली चाय पकौड़ी और बुआ वाली मैगी फूफा संग खेली होली और चाचा संग फाग में चंग आज भी क्या खूब बच्चों के किस्सों में रंग जमाते हैं कौन कहता है पुराने खो से जाते हैं वह तो बुनियाद है जिस पर नए खिलखिलाते हैं थैंक यू यादों में याद है यादों में रह जाते बहुत ब्रिलियंट लाइन इन द यू नो ब्रिलियंट यू से इट ऑफ दैट लाइन से इट्स नॉस्टैल्जिक एक्चुअली नॉस्टैल्जिक ब्रिलियंट थिंग्स दैट आई टेल वी यूज्ड टू डू बट नाउ इट इज माय चिल्ड्रन दे कैन डू दिस थिंग सिंपल एंड स्वीट मैम Hello. Yes, ma'am. Please go ahead. I'm audible. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so, thank you very much for inviting uh, Prasanna, and uh, greetings to one and all, and uh, enjoying the beautiful poems. And uh, I forgot that I also have to read some time something. So I have picked a poem. From first poem from my own latest collection, Whispers of Stillness. It is uh, not launched yet, but I am going to read out a poem from it only. So, title of my poem is "No Noise, No Life." I was lost. I was lost. Where was I? Investigated new surroundings. unspecified but beautiful vast mesmerizing landscapes fresh greenery fresh vegetation flowers butterflies aroma inviting ambiance but but absolute silence chirping of birds humming of bees no sound no sound no movement everything is still static felt good hubbub everywhere in cities inside the house outside road office any place clamor everywhere irritating felt nice at peaceful spot felt nice at peaceful spot suddenly suddenly a group of people appeared all were dressed in white huge group but quiet moving straight as if under remote control totally unaware of my presence no voice no noise only footsteps but audible walking forward all of a sudden started jumping started jumping down one after another shocked they kept jum- jumping to death in valley deep silence such actions swollen faces no expression i was disturbed uncomfortable what's the charm of beauty while no life what's the charm of beauty while no life serious thought rush pulling pushing shouts actions are signs of life what am i doing here in hushed death turned back turned back ran as fast as i could i am alive going to embrace life happiness sorrow pain success failure struggle ingredients of palatable life 
everyone receives pleasure and pain clockwise. Must struggle, enjoy life in own way. Returned back. Returned back in the same old life. Forgot complaints about noise, shortcomings. Experienced the other side of the coin. Experienced the other side of the coin. Enlightened. Contained voice. Thank you. And the uh, second one. Ye ek poem hai Hindi mein. Bas kush deet. This tells that one should not leave the home. Bas kush deet. Kush deet ki baat hai. Bas kush deet ki hai. Thak jayenge dukho ke badal. मिट जाएगा अंधकार जीव कभी था ही नहीं बस उस समय की बात है रवि रश्मिया मुस्कुराएंगी नभ में रवि रश्मिया मुस्कुराएंगी नभ में नृत्य करेंगी परछाइया नदी तालाब लहरों के संग इतरा कर प्रकाश नभ का प्रकाश नभ का उतर आएगा अंतर मंतर बस कुछ समय की बात है भवितव्य है जाना भवितव्य है जाना आगंतुक का स्थापित सत्य तथापि तर्क हो जाता है निराशा के अग्नि ज्वाल में हृदय संशय के बस कुछ समय की ही तो बात है सघन मेघ संवाहक जल राशि के धूम्र वर्षा विनाश निदाध का सर्व विदित प्राकृतिक नियम क्रम शंकालु मानव व्यथित न समझा शंकालु मानव व्यथित न समझा कि बस कुछ देर की बात है अभीष्ट प्राप्त होता है अभीष्ट प्राप्त होता है होगा भी बस कुछ समय की बात है बस कुछ समय की बस कुछ देर की ही बात है कुछ समय Excellent, yeah. So, I mean, the experience always speaks. That is what I believe, and that is what you know. That is portrayed through your lines. I could definitely, you know, uh, visualize. Thank you, ma'am. So beautiful. So beautiful. Thank you so much. Please, please, well, uh, please give me a round of my like, applause, my dear friends. Oh, my, what is there? The seeker. <laughs> let me, I, I would play, uh, let me present a short one of mine. I was there, here and everywhere, but you failed to see my still thought. I was a transient, transient shadow traveled across to kiss the path of yours. You failed to envisage the casting of my soul. I was roaming and singing the grace and the elegance of yours, but you are not ready to accept the praises of Bebgir, who seek only glance of yours, the seeker. With those lands, please welcome. <laughs> I'm very close to my heart, please, Padma ma'am. Hi, good evening. Good evening, everyone. The title of my poem is Treat Your Life. Treat Your Life. Behind the screen on the reputed stage, hands swiftly dance and you put forth feet. Years passed by, but you never count age. If penny gives you life, job is a big treat. No place is comfortable and no one is fair. In this magical world, all things do glitter. Feeding brain on time, lives you compare, all isn't well and days may turn bitter. You know not who really is good or bad. Trust not the words for they have no proof. Actions do make you truly blind and sad. How long do you really want to be aloof? Take a deep breath and think for a while. See, silence silences you. It's a lifestyle. 
take a deep breath and see, and silence is a live breath. Silence is a live breath indeed, <laughs> always. <laughs> no. uh, look within, and yeah. as you take in the breath. You got one, ma'am? Yeah, I can recite a Telugu poem. Would like uh, to recite it. One. Please give me one second. Okay, a small poem in Telugu. This is, uh, you know, it talks about different ways of our love. Every love has a reason and meaning. That's what I'm going to read it. Navu nana vidhalu. Chiru navu lo ardhalenno ennenno. Santosha samayan lo vuchche chiru navu kalal lo kanti nimpu marinto hai nichu. Bidiyanto vuchche nadi soyagam nimpu. Badhato vachunadi bharan telupu. Pratikaranto vachedi paganu nimpu. Panagapunabu parajayam telupu. Mosakari nabu dvesham kanabarchu. Krodhamaina nabu krantini kolpo. Kantiaina nabu kanila pandaga. Vijayavantamaina nabu nabu vikyati nimpu. Nabu nabulo adhalenno antarardhalenno. Uh, there is always a way of saying that you, you know, uh, a smile. Uh, you, you could put it in my own smile. <laughs> yeah, life or a smile, it is also a kind of language <laughs> that we understand a lot of things. Yeah. And there are occasions where you should not put a smile. <laughs> but Smile has so many meanings and so many you know, facets. So that is what that poem described about. And so that was really brilliant, ma'am. Thank you. Thanks for coming. And thanks for sharing your piece. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. I got one piece more, one more. I just got yeah, please, a... Please <laughs> uh, but this is for uh, who? Ah, yes, Isabel. <laughs> yeah. The time made me think whether I am alive or dead. The moment I took a breath, started running after grabbing tears. I always used to be delighted by the cries and screams. Psychotic, I became craved for whimpering walkers. Giving pain to many, gained a pseudo-harmony. Then she, into my life from nowhere, entered into my life from nowhere. She taught me what's it to feel the sting of moan and groan. I could see the change in the weather. My feelings started to keep soaring for emotion. Slowly I learned what it's like to be a man having the affection for others. Well, as I thought of understanding this, she left me living in lurch. Now hardly I could shed tears, nor remain silent with this unscripted exit. I remain to be stoic, howling at the time of mine to laugh at. No tears. Title yes. <laughs> wow. Does. wow. <laughs> very, very depth in meaning. I would say it's powerful. Yeah. Emotional touch. The same, the, the same thing I will continue with the, another uh, after the one. After, after the one. Yeah. <laughs> Please welcome CJ. <laughs> Where is CJ? CJ, you gone? Uh, yeah, yeah, she is there. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm going to read two poems. My uncle, my favorite uncle just died. Um, we had his funeral yesterday. So I'm going to read the first piece um, dedicated to his memory. He was 92 years old. This is called 92 Rotations Around the Sun. I learn from you. I learn how to plant vegetable gardens and trees, working the soil and making things grow. 
you teach me the history of the Southern Jim Crow red dirt and how not even racist Mississippi could rob you of your joy or silence the music within your soul. The history stories and knowledge carried inside you was simply electric. We spoke of times past and what would be. We reflected on life and history. 92 years of living makes one most reflected. 92 rotations around the sun. I miss you so much, Uncle James. Now that you're gone, we admired nature. We drank sweet tea. We spoke of God and we planted trees. August 24th, 2024 was your final sunset. I think about your wondrous life journey. I recall our visits. I cherish the rich shared family history. I sit on the front porch and I take solace in the beauty of the crepe myrtle trees you and I planted so many years ago. The second poem that I'm going to read is called Healing Hands. So much of our lives as adults, our parents take care of us, but then the tables turn where as adult children, we then have to take care of them. And we then live the life lessons that they taught us. And one of the life lessons that my uncle James taught me as a little girl was Sometimes the reciprocity that you give out, it comes back in so many different ways and forms. And one of the things that I got the greatest joy of was planting in, in the garden with him. And he planted, he was 92 years old and he was still planting things. So uh, that was very special. But the second poem I'm gonna do, it's called Healing Hand. Uh, before my dad passed away, I actually was a caregiver. So I had to take care of him the way he used to take care of me. And this is called Healing Hands. I discovered healing hands in those of my capable parents. Leaning in to linger a little longer in maternal hands that provided the right amount of comfort, bruised knees, and other childhood injuries required the know-how of paternal healing hands. No one sang like dad as he bandaged cuts and scrapes. Never acknowledging your cluts or clumsy, smiling as he said, it's all better now, sugar, looking great. Skateboard accidents and bicycles that coasted too fast, steeply downhill. Skinny brown legs with knobby knees, now bare tattooed scars of chasing youthful thrills. Life brings about swift and cataclysmic changes. I pray for God's mercy as he places my father in my middle-aged hands, unsure, and feeble they are. I bring him warm blankets and read to him at bedside with hot and tasty beverages. God, please give me strength to care for dad the way he cared for me. Please give me loving and healing hands to be the best caregiver 
that my father needs. Wow, Susie. Uh, I must thank you for, you know, taking the opportunity, I mean, making use of this, you know, uh, platform and, you know, share, sharing your, and uh, paying tribute to your uncle and father. I like the way you recited and you, you know, your voice, your rendition, what, I mean, we really, it's really moving for us to, and I wish it might be hearing you from for cows. And you. showering his blessings. Cizé. That alto voice yeah. of yours is really good too. I really appreciated your reading. Thank you. You know, I could, uh, you know, I'm very much emphasizing each word. And so beautiful. And the way you're bringing life into um, the the passing of the human body, but the life in planting and in healing, yes, very beautiful. Blessings Thank on you. your spirits and on yours. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Cesar. Uh, Slop. Uh, continue my uh, my streak of uh, reading poem. <laughs> Maybe it's for Padma, ma'am. This <laughs> guy <Sisko> said, <laughs> "Glowing cinders blink at the fire to kiss the cosmos to stay cool." As she carry the flower, the fragrance touch the fire, calm this flicker. The ambience fill the romance with the birds enjoying the seasonal togetherness. I, for the one who never listened to the sounds of nature, hardly followed the seasons and so slithered from my hands. Left to see the essence, the scent of love. Now I sit near the bonfire every night and wish to see her face in the shooting stars. But as the fate has its knees, so as my destiny caused Nothing ever happened to cast the sight. Mockery of destiny. <laughs> Hope it, is, it is continue in continuation with the former uh, poem. I uh, maybe like the theme. <laughs> uh, please welcome uh, Isabel Van Merlin. Your wordplay, wordplay is very good. I love your vocab and. Everything. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Isabel, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. And um, I'll I'll share my screen quickly. Um, <clears throat> uh, where did it go? Okay. Sure. Okay. This is a very short poem and. Um, it's from my childhood, and it's about summer, now that we're ending, getting towards the end of summer. Saddle and paddle. In autumn, when lakes lose their heat, I can't think of a lake that had any heat to begin with, except saddle and paddle, and that was really only a pond. I learned to swim in it first to the stump that was just underwater, so you had to be able to swim a little bit to make sure you could make it that far and find the stump. Cling to it while you caught your breath and then dog paddle back to the sandy shore. No leafy muddy shore to have to muck through. This was South Carolina. Lots of sand, not beach sand though, a little farther along in the learning to swim process was swimming out to the raft, a green marine painted wood structure floating on two 50 gallon drums from which I learned to front drive, dive and back dive. You were accepted as a big kid then when you could swim to the float, climb up and hang out with the other big kids. 
a totally different aquatic society class. In autumn, when lakes lose their heat, I go east to the ocean. Oh. Um, I can I ask too, please, that I've just read um, a couple of news uh, bites, I call them, from um, of our country. And I would ask you all to please to hold hold the United States in the light that we have um, a, a new president or in the next election that we have a leader that believes in education and believes in uh, literature, poetry, um, the good things, the living things in life. Um, please keep us in your in your prayers. Thank you. Always, ma'am. Always, we always, always, and always love your presence. I love your presence with your reading as well. That was where Isabel. Please give a round of applause, my dear friends. Please welcome Shobha Deshpande. Shobha Deshpande. Namaskar. Good morning. Good evening. Hindi Divas Cooper Bowling, Hindi Shrek Divas. Teachers Day. Shirshek Shikshak Shikshak Divas. Divas Manate Ham Guru Ka. Divas Manate Ham Guru Ka. You Karte Saman. You Karte Saman. Lekin Guru To Jeevan Ke. Lekin Guru To Jeevan Ke. Har Pal Me Rakte Maan. Har Pal Me Rakte Maan. Lekin Guru To Jeevan Ke. Har Pal Me Rakte Maan. Janma Daini Mata Hamko. Janma Daini Mata Hamko. Jeevan Pad Par Lati Hai. Janma Daini Mata Hamko. Jeevan Pad Par Lati Hai. Guru ki shiksha jagame. Guru ki shiksha is jagame. Chalne ka marg dikhati. Guru ki shiksha me chalne ka marg dikhati hai. Is jagame durgam patko. Is jagame durgam patko. Samjata guru ka dhyan. Samjata guru ka dhyan. Is jagame durgam patko. Samjata guru ka dhyan. Uha pahe me jab. मन होता पाए में जब मन होता कुछ भी समझ नहीं आता कुछ भी समझ नहीं आता ऊहा पाए में जब मन होता कुछ भी समझ नहीं आता गुरु की उंगली पकड़कर गुरु की उंगली पकड़कर प्राणी भव सागर तर जाता प्राणी भव सागर जाती गुरु की उंगली पकड़ प्राणी भव सागर तर जाता मोक्ष मिले जीवन में मोक्ष मिले जीवन में जब जब रहे गुरु का ध्यान जब जब रहे गुरु का ध्यान मोक्ष मिले जीवन में जब रहे गुरु का ध्यान गोविंद के तुम चरण पढ़ो गोविंद के चरण पढ़ो ये गुरु की शिक्षा के तुम चरण पढ़ो ये गुरु शिक्षा है हिंदी का और छोटे से कविता तो ये दो टीवानी मनसुन मार्च कर रहे कविता तो कविता कवि नहीं ये वरु बंधन से लड़ूँ 
ఎవరు బంధించలేరు కవి నవసానికి కవి నవ సమాజానికి నిర్మించడానికి ప్రయత్నిస్తుతాడు మతాను రాగాలతో పడుతుంటాడు పాటు పడుతుంటాడు సమాజాన్ని తిలకిస్తూ నవాలను రూపంలో వెల్లడిస్తుంటాడు సమాజాన్ని తిలకిస్తూ రూపంలో వెల్లడిస్తుంటాడు కవి అంతర్ముఖుడు కవి సూర్యుని అంత ప్రకాశం నిచ్చేవాడు కవి అంతర్ముఖుడు కవి సూర్యుని అంత ప్రకాశాన్ని ఇచ్చేవాడు కవికి ఎప్పుడు సమయం దొరికితే అప్పుడు వ్రాయగలడు కవికి ఎప్పుడు సమయం దొరికితే అప్పుడు రాయగలడు రాత్రి గాని పగలు గాని తన భావాలను అప్పటికప్పుడే కాగితముపై వ్రాసుకుంటాడు రాత్రి గాని పగలు కాని తన భావాలని అప్పటికప్పుడే వ్రాసు కవితను కవిత కాగితముపై వ్రాసుకుంటాడు రాత్రి అయిపోవాలి తినాలి అని ఏముండదు రాత్రి అయింది తినాలి అని ఏముండదు మంచి పదాలతో కూర్చి కవితను వ్రాయాలని ఉంటుంది మంచి పదాలను కూర్చి కవితను వ్రాయాలని ఉంటుంది నా కవితను అందరికి అందరూ మెచ్చుకోవాలని తపన కవి ఏమనుకుంటాడంటే నా కవితను అందరూ మెచ్చుకోవాలి నా పదాలను మెచ్చుకోవాలి అని అనుకుంటాడు ధన్యవాదాలు ప్రసన్న జీ కో ఆర్ సభీ మేరే సాథియం కో బహుత్ బహుత్ ధన్యవాద్ దో తీన్ ఆయ అసలు కవి ఏ హో గయా గణపతి కాజ దూసరా హేకిన్ కిస్ పర్ బోలే పరేషాని హోగి Thank you. Dhaniwad. Please give a round of applause, my dear friends. Please welcome uh, Saraswati Poshwal. It's a wonderful poet who runs a platform called Sargam. Hello, good morning, good evening. Namaskar, Sashrikal Adar Salaam. Am I audible to you all? Thank you. Yes, Sorry for joining. I was on the way. So I would start with my poem. Prasanna ji, thank you so much. Literate, literate, the poem. Literate Heart. The title of my poem is Literate Heart. One literate heart. craves the taste of learning one literate heart craves the taste of learning knowing that what you grasp is only the stepping stone a spark of the fire to glow desires whisper find peace in pages in quiet moments where gratitude blossoms desires whisper find peace in pages in quiet moments where gratitude blossoms books media and google open doors to new worlds books media and google open doors to new world gifts of wisdom gleaning like star gleaming like star in stillness we learn in stillness we learn humility guides our steps in stillness we learn humility guides our steps not to mend shattered pieces but to create a whole evolving growing but not to mend shattered pieces but to create a whole evolving growing in the light of literacy this was my first poem on literacy as it is a literacy day i wish you all literacy day to everyone now i would like to uh, give one ghazal in hindi this is on bhakti bhakti ghazal for you hope you like it thoda rhythm mein problem hoga so please kindly adjust ha huh? bear me please <laughs> so it's an hindi uh, bhakti ghazal for you it's on krishna kaha dar tumhara batao kanhaiya kaha dar tumhara batao kanhaiya kabhi darsh apna karao kanhaiya kabhi darsh apna कराओ कन्हैया कहा दर तुम्हारा 
बताओ कन्हैया कहा दर तुम्हारा बताओ कन्हैया कभी दर्श अपना कराओ कन्हैया कभी दर्श अपना कराओ कन्हैया तुम्हें ढूंढती है हमारी निगाहें तुम्हें ढूंढती है हमारी निगाहें न हमसे नजर यू चुराओ कन्हैया न हमसे नजर यू चुराओ कन्हैया कहा दर तुम्हारा बताओ कन्हैया कहा दर तुम्हारा बताओ कन्हैया कभी दर्श अपना कराओ कन्हैया कभी दर्श अपना कराओ कन्हैया कभी सारथी तुम बने पार्थ के हो कभी सारथी तुम बने पार्थ के हो हमें राह सत्य की दिखाओ कन्हैया हमें राह सत्य की दिखाओ कन्हैया कहा दर तुम्हारा बताओ कन्हैया कहा दर तुम्हारा बताओ कन्हैया कभी दर्श अपना कराओ कन्हैया कभी दर्श अपना कराओ कन्हैया डराती हमें है सा काली राते डराती हमें है सा काली राते खुशी की शहर भी दिखाओ कन्हैया खुशी की शहर भी दिखाओ कन्हैया कहा दर तुम्हारा बताओ कन्हैया कहा दर तुम्हारा बताओ कन्हैया कभी दर्श अपना कराओ कन्हैया कभी दर्श अपना कराओ कन्हैया हमारे हृदय में तुम ही तो बसे हो हमारे हृदय में तुम ही तो बसे हो यकी घर ना हो तो आजमाओ कन्हैया यकी घर ना हो तो आजमाओ कन्हैया कहा दर तुम्हारा बताओ कन्हैया कहा दर तुम्हारा बताओ कन्हैया कभी दर्श अपना कराओ कन्हैया कभी दर्श अपना कराओ कन्हैया थके पाँव से अब चले और कितना थके पाँव से और चले और कितना हमें पार भव से कराओ कन्हैया हमें पार भव से कराओ कन्हैया कहा दर तुम्हारा बताओ कन्हैया कहा दर तुम्हारा बताओ कन्हैया कभी दर्श अपना कराओ कन्हैया कभी दर्श अपना कराओ कन्हैया कभी उर्वशी की नहीं ली खबर भी कभी उर्वशी की नहीं ली खबर भी दया सिंधु अब तो बहाओ कन्हैया दया सिंधु अब तो बहाओ कन्हैया कहा दर तुम्हारा बताओ कन्हैया कहा दर तुम्हारा बताओ कन्हैया कभी दर्श अपना कराओ कन्हैया कभी दर्श अपना कराओ कन्हैया धन्यवाद शुक्रिया ये भक्ति गजल थी जिसमें एक दो दो एक दो दो एक दो दो के संयुक्त अनुसार ये मैंने गजल प्रस्तुत किया आपके समक्ष उम्मीद है आपको पसंद आई होगी धन्यवाद शुक्रिया थैंक यू सो मच वन अगेन के कुमार जी थैंक यू सो मच एवरीवन फॉर लिसनिंग एंड बियरिंग बहुत 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 अच्छा लगा बहुत अच्छा लगा थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू थैंक यू सर You know, I'm reminded of that song. 
an old one <laughs> thank you sir this, this was a gazal uh, i read wrote this yesterday <laughs> only <laughs> thank you thank you so much thank you sir shan sir thank you thank you mr sir thank you shri kumar ji once again everyone thank you thank you it reminds uh, us the old song yes definitely sir that uh, na 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 please sir go ahead <laughs> prasanna you remember that song tu hi mere meet ho tu hi mere geet ho remember the theme yeah it was somehow reminiscent of that yeah. it's a never good song thank you awesome uh, thank Shashuri. you sir Okay. Thank you, sir. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you. Please welcome Miss Satender Kaur. She's a wonderful poet and human being. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, Prasanna ji, and good evening to everyone here. or uh, good morning or good evening whatever regions they are in and uh, today i am here with a poem on time how time leaves its mark upon a person his life his uh, body etc so uh, we i i go on with the poem aghast i found myself caught unawares aghast i found myself caught unawares when my mirror glared at me surreptitiously when my mirror glared at me surreptitiously making me understand it's not so irrelevant smile making me understand it's not so irrelevant smile that i had entered into the winter of my life that i had entered into the winter of my life the gray strands of my hair thin lines around my lips round belly pouch with handles round my waist and faded look in my eyes oh the mirror must be playing a cruel joke oh the mirror must be playing a cruel joke how could a slender vibrant resilient girl turn into a shapeless figure only in a few quickly moving years how could a slender vibrant resilient girl turn into a shapeless figure only in a few quick moving years it seems to me the matter of yesterday it seems to me the matter of yesterday when a shy bride in her red and golden trousseau entered in her husband's home eyes filled with dreams days months years pacing at fast speed days months years pacing at fast speed home heart children school profession all swirling in the same run of the mill all swirling in the same run of the mill hopes dreams success failure each taking its turn hopes dreams success failure each taking its turn the luster of spring summer and the autumn stealthily has waved goodbye the luster of spring summer and the autumn stealthily has waved goodbye leaving me colorless in the thorny lap of winter leaving me colorless in the thorny lap of winter the winter that had seemed so far away had approached so soon the winter that had seemed so far away had approached so soon unprepared for the aches and numbness loss of strength and loosened denture 
hunched back and crackling knee joints that had become a part of many of my elders' lives. I remember how I used to engage myself in mimicry. I remember how I used to engage myself in mimicry, eating, walking, and talking like them, never imagining I would soon be a target too. Never imagining I would soon be a target too. Thank you. We are always present and give us you know, more, a moment to ponder in you know, a socially conscious. Uh, that is the truth. Time, that is the truth. That the that time is. has this uh, big impact upon the life. Uh, everything, whatever is happening, the things will change with the passage of time. The body will change. And uh, the seasons will change. Everything will change. Uh, and this is what uh, I have portrayed into the persona of this the poem. Thank you. Thank you. That brings us to the end of the uh, evening, my dear friends. I got one piece. I think this is a piece written by Arti Mittal. Uh, please give a end of applause to Ma'am Satinder Kaur. Thank you. Thank uh, you so much. You could turn on your videos, my dear friends, so that you could show a yeah, no, people could watch. So you could uh, assume, uh, you could uh, imagine what this theme is about as I read the poem. <laughs> मर्द बने फिरते ना मर्द करते स्त्रियों को बदनाम ये उन पुरुषों के नाम मर्द बने फिरते ना मर्द करते स्त्रियों को बदनाम ये उन पुरुषों के नाम जो ना पिता है ना भ्राता है ना पुत्र किसी के ही वो क्या जाने क्या होती है नारी माता बहन ना सोता पहचाने बस समझे उसे अबला बेचारी ऐसी मर्दानगी पे अधिकार है जो समझे औरत लाचार है ना बापू ना ना बहाना ना बहना एक भी आंसू ना शर्मिंदा होना मैं तब भी निर्मल निष्कलंक थी आज भी पवित्र पावन चरित्र हूँ ना रोना ये समझ कर कि मैं बेबस लाचार थी गर्व करना अपने दी हुई शिक्षा पर तात मेरे मैं एक अकेले उन सारे सारों पर सौ सौ ना नारियों सा भारती आंसुओं आंसुओं से सिसकियां नहीं भरी थी मैंने कई शेरनियों से दाहड़ती काम गई थी रोहून की जब रिश्ते लहू से काली दुर, दुर्गा थी जल की जीत रही थी जंग में भी बरस रही थी अंग आग नस नस से उड़ रहे थे प्राण पखेरु मेरे खुद मेरे ही बस से अच्छे डरता निडर मनता इस युद्ध के मैदान में बस मेरा ही समय था वे डर के मारे कांप रहे थे पीठ दिखा कर भाग रहे थे याद रखे ये हर नारी योनी नहीं उसकी लाचारी सम्मान की खातिर जली थी लंका सारी सचेत रहना ओ ऐसे नरों की जाति छीर हरण से आज भी महाभारत छिड़ जाती पिता हो मेरे ये मान करना मेरी हिम्मत और हौसलों का सम्मान करना नाम ना मेरा कभी छिपाना गर्व से अपना सर उठाना गर्व से अपना सर उठाना दिस इज रिटन बाय वेरी वेल नोन राइटर आरती मिट्टल बहुत सुंदर बहुत सुंदर बोला भी बहुत सुंदर है पोएम भी बहुत सुंदर <laughs> वेरी नाइस मैडम बहुत अच्छा है आपने कविता बोली बहुत अच्छे से बहुत अच्छा लगा थैंक यू थैंक यू आई लुक फॉरवर्ड फॉर द नेक्स्ट टाइम डे प्लीज कीप इन टच एंड ब्रिंग योर फ्रेंड्स अलोंग ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर नॉट शाइनिंग बाय बाय